Italy to play Sweden in our live semi-final. Two blank ends to start the semi-final. In N3, double made on the last by Retter Nas after an open hit. Missed on his first. Sweden with a chance to put two points on the board. Edin with the takeout. Alexander Lindström, the coach, happy with that effort. A great start for Sweden. And then N4. Retornaz with the hit and stay in the forfeit, just staying open enough for Niklas Adin to make the double, double made. Sweden sitting three before Italy's last stone. No, no room for mistakes. On the last from the Italian skip. It is there for the score, trailing Sweden by one after four. In the fifth end, a great attempt at the hit and roll of the nibbler on the wing from Erternas, but still open enough for Edin to make the peel and get the blank. One point lead in Hammer coming into the halftime break. And seven. Big chance for Edin, great. Tap on his first a miss by Retornaz, and that leaves a draw for Sweden to score three, go five one up on Italy. And the following end, lying one, Sweden guards Retornaz trying to run back that guard to catch a sliver of the Redstone top four to put two points on the board, but too high of line. And it's just a single point. Still trailing by three. Then Joel Retornaz with his last in the ninth end, trying to set it up for a steal. Absolute perfect tap to a freeze at the back. And Sweden with their last stone. Not going to take any risks. Niklas Adin just playing to uh, cut Italy down to the single steal. Will do so, bringing the game a bit closer, leaving Italy with a chance coming into the 10th end, needing a steal of two for the extra end. A great end it's by imagine. Italy and a chance for Eternaz to hit and lie. Three for Sweden to play against the game, but the shot not there. Jams on the back in Sweden, not needing to throw their final stone, putting themselves into the gold medal game with a 5-3 final against Italy. Well, congratulations. And during the game, we were calling it a clinic. Uh, what did you think of your uh, team's effort today? Yeah, it was uh, almost perfect. Uh, we played a really solid game. We, we started with Hammer. We started well. A couple of blank ends, not too common for our team, but we really uh, tried to just uh, keep our focus out there, take our chances when we got them. And I, I think it was uh, a clinic, yeah. You, take, you, you took the last game off. Um, a lot of people say, oh, that was, you know, this or that. Your thoughts on uh, how important that was for you? Uh, very important, I think. Um, I'm, my whole body is <laughs> not getting any younger, so uh, definitely some sore spots, and I just kind of felt like I, I needed rest for the past three, four days. So when I got that chance, the game was prob not mattering much for any of the teams out there, so um, I, I just felt I needed a rest more than to play another game. I'd love to hear your thoughts on playing Team Canada, Brad Guju again. Yeah, another uh, tough battle for sure. They're a super strong team. Uh, obviously played really well this week as well. And um, big win now against Scotland. So it's going to be another battle for sure. And it doesn't really matter who's uh, favorite on paper, 50-50 or 70-30, whatever. you got to just play really well tom tomorrow to be able to win. Thank you for this. Thank you. Good luck.
Grazie, grazie, grazie.